not wasting a single one of them. He's doing whatever he can to protect his political legacy. You remember that, the one that was soundly rejected by voters in November. Here now to respond is David Goodfriend, an attorney and Democratic strategist who served in the long ago Bill Clinton White House back when the Democratic Party. It was a very different place. David, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me on. Happy New Year, Tucker. Happy New Year to you. So I just have to ask you, I know this is not a probable scenario, but it's being batted around by the lunatics online today. <laughs> and that is a recess appointment of Merrick Garland to the Supreme Court. So tomorrow, Congress goes back into session right. and the Speaker gavels it out at the end of the 114th. There's a five-minute intercession between the two, the intercession recess it's called, and then he gavels in the 115th. The idea is that in that period, the president could make a recess appointment of Supreme Court justice. Will he do that? I don't think so. But I think it's an interesting theory. It suggests that uh, would President Obama exercise every last ounce of executive authority that he has, including doing recess appointments. But I think by and large, presidents have avoided doing that for Supreme Court justice for good reason. I mean, there is a congressional, a Senate uh, uh, process for reviewing and consenting uh, on a nominee, and I think that's going to happen here. I will say that I think uh, it was rather pugnacious of the Senate Republicans not to even hold hearings on the president's nominee, which is just part of our constitutional yeah, process. It was pugnacious. I think they should have had hearings and held a vote and voted against it. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. And yet voters, with that in mind, voted for the Republican anyway and elected him president. And I guess that's the point. So rather than pausing in the aftermath of this kind of amazing election outcome that nobody expected, least mm -hmm. of all President Obama, and asking, what are voters trying to tell us? Mm -hmm. He's moving forward as if the last election ratified his policies and gave him another mandate. So he's done all these things, restricted leasing in the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans, dismantled this tracking system for Muslim visitors to our country, instituted sanctions against Russia, protected a million acres of land in the western states against sure. the will of those states. Nobody voted for any of these things. Well, unfortunately, Tucker, the way our Constitution works is we have one president yeah, at a time. No, I know. And executive actions can be easily undone by an incoming president. It's not like you're passing a law that then has to be overturned or passed, uh, uh, overcome by another Congress. I think what's going on here, frankly, we have in this country a system of laws for getting regulations in place. Right. Forgive me for going all law professor on you, but I think it's really important. We have something called the Administrative Procedures Act, which is how regulations are supposed to be formulated. You put something out for public comment. The public gets to comment. The agency then puts out a regulation. Lawsuits happen after that. Somebody says, well, you didn't give me enough notice. You didn't give me enough. And that's really what's well, going I'm on Well, I'm sorry to get well. a law professor on you yes, as hear. a history major. But yes. actually, the president doesn't pass laws, and neither do the courts. The, the regulations. The Congress I said the does. regulations. You said laws correctly, because in fact, they are laws. No, they these are, are laws. implementation of and laws. In, the executive Where we are strategies. now, and you know it as well as I, is the executive branch is making the laws, and they're calling them legislation. They're ignoring Congress, which they're, is another way of saying they're ignoring voters. Tucker, and they're, they're doing acting, what they want. They're acting under statutory authority. They can't go beyond statutory authority. They can get sued for that, and they have, but and they have won or lost. The in least, this case, it's the president acting in his power as the executive to okay. implement in other the words, laws. He can do it. And he I can, can do, do a lot of things, but I choose not to because I restrain myself, because they're bad for me or the people around me. And shouldn't the president? in the interest of democracy, pull back a little bit, look at voters and say, what were you trying to say? Clearly you didn't love Obamacare, clearly you didn't love my climate policy, because if you did, you would have elected my successor, Hillary Clinton. So if, under that logic, the Republicans should have held those hearings on Merrick Garland, the Supreme Court Justice, they should have brought up for a vote, but they didn't. So why don't you give that message well, to Mitch I think McConnell? That's, I think that's a fair point. I mean, I think it's a fair point. Maybe they should have done that, but I'm talking about Maybe right now, have. but they didn't. I'm they not didn't, here to and Barack them. Obama is saying, you know what, I'm still president, this is my I'm authority under the law, whatever, I feel whatever like. under the law okay, I am but, authorized to do. Okay, but look, the president, what's, wrong the, uh, what's wrong with it is, it's increasing a trend that has been going on for the last 20 years where the country is becoming less democratic. Ordinary people have less control over what happens to them from government than they've ever had before because more decisions are being made by fewer people, unelected people in the agencies, the courts. It's not good, and you know it's not good, and he's making it worse. I would, I would say this, Tucker. The people who voted for Barack Obama in overwhelming numbers, overwhelming numbers, got a president for four years. And they got a new president in Donald Trump for the next four years, who can just as easily, under his executive authority, undo whatever he wants. I know. And you're undo right. Whatever and, he wants. And, and you're absolutely we right. We only have one president at a time. Now, I will say this. But we have a this. Congress that's supposed to be doing this. And basically what, what Obama's doing oh, no. is by Congress? acting in an authoritarian way, he's guaranteeing that Trump will do the you same. Are, you are misstating the law, Tucker. Congress makes the laws, the president enforces them. These are regulations under statutory authority. If Congress wanted to undo them, Tucker, you know very well they could pass a law to undo them. And they, they don't. And they should, because they're cowards. Okay. But basically, that, that, okay. that's true. No. We can agree on that.
Let's agree on that. They're cowards. On that? David, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. You too.